HR managers today are ill-equipped to negotiate employment contracts. We found through surveys that of the HR managers that are involved in recruitment uh, and negotiating employment contracts, uh, over 46% of them have never received any form of training in negotiations. Now this should come as a shock because for a lot of our organizations, the, the, um, the talent that the, the employees represent the, the major overhead for any organization. It's easy for senior managers to, to neglect this because here we are living in, in a country of 1.3 billion people. We have a GDP growth of 8.1% uh, growth and, and everything seems good. But I should add that 8.1% is actually a slight downturn to projections. The projections were aiming at 8.5%. You might say therefore that with a downturn in GDP, that that means that there are less jobs per people. So therefore there should be a glut of talent. But again, that is not the case, even though uh, last September, six and a half million Chinese graduates left university and sought work. The, 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 the issue today remains as true as it did uh, t uh, 10 or 15 years ago, and that is that there is a disconnect, a gap between the quality of the graduates coming out of university and the quality that is demanded by, by Global 1000, Fortune 500 and large Chinese organizations. So, the facts are that, that HR managers do need to improve their skill in negotiating employment contracts because the, we do know that every industry is growing. Uh, the Antel global snapshot for uh, Q1 has indicated that every industry across China is growing. Some of them more than others, luxury, FMCG, retail, automotive. These are industries that are hiring more than, than the others, but they're all around the 60 to 90% uh, of, of those industries are expecting to hire more talent this year. So there's lots of competition. The first thing to consider is the needs of the talent and uh, risk is a large need or reducing risk is a large need and we do know from the Corporate Leadership Council that a strong employer brand will increase the attractiveness of an organization by about 20%. So if you're not already engaged in strong employer branding, you are uh, negatively affecting the chances and the percentage of talent that you're attracting. Uh, finding needs is another key quality, a key skill that HR managers need to have. If they've not been trained in negotiations, then they'll be neglecting this skill. And it's not about getting reports from recruitment firms and finding out what interests uh, that, that, uh, that the, the talent has en masse, but rather uh, getting into a relationship with the individual employee and narrowing down what, what their needs are. For example, there was a, a senior manager based in Guangzhou and uh, the recruitment firm in question was trying to attract him to a position in Shanghai. Initially they went into the relationship, the discussion, to talk uh, it, it, completely about price. Let's bring him over to Shanghai and let's talk about price. But it was what, what was uh, quickly discovered through discussions and, the, and, and general uh, building of goodwill was that this individual, actually um, his wife was from Shanghai, although he was from Guangdong himself. His wife was Shanghai and therefore his mother-in-law, father-in-law and in fact a large financial investment in the form of a property was in Shanghai. It was quickly discovered that he had a lot of overhead cost in the form of rent in Guangzhou but in fact his house, his apartment was, was, was empty in Shanghai and for that reason the offer was made without any substantial increase in salary because the attraction for this this manager based in Guangzhou to move to Shanghai was based on the need of reducing his, his, his expenses, that being his rent. If you're an HR manager and you're not familiar with asking questions, narrowing down, funneling and finding needs, this is going to be overlooked and you'll be going into every talent negotiation with one tool, that tool being increase in, in salary. And of course that is going to that is going to be a, a long battle and the only person who wins from that is the talent themselves. So at the end of the day, make sure that your HR managers who are involved in negotiations are fully equipped because they represent a large cost to your organization.